Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to this new world of um, being able to watch and <laughs> see you in a little box on the screen rather than seeing you in person. But um, uh, so obviously first game, so excited to be back on the court and uh, be able to watch our kids play. And uh, I think a couple of weeks ago to a month ago to two months ago, uh, I didn't really believe that this day would happen. And so to see it, to be able to play against somebody else and uh, and, and for our kids to get out there and compete. I'm, I'm so excited and, um, and really thankful to all the people that made today happen. And from our doctors to um, our kids who had to do things that weren't easy, to social distance, to protect our bubble as much as possible to give us a chance to uh, compete and play uh, at this level. So really excited about that. Um, obviously, uh, I think we had some um, uh, really good moments uh, was able to uh, see our kids in action, and uh, I think some of that was the jitters of uh, first time to be able to play. You know, obviously, whenever you send somebody to the free throw line 39 times, and uh, I think we had, what, 33 fouls, we were trying to press and do a little bit too much. Uh, and, and then the turnovers were just trying to get people in spots and do all that stuff too fast that we just have to slow down and be a little bit more composed. But whenever you have 10 freshmen and sophomores, you, you expect some of those nerves and uh, activity to happen, but uh, but overall, I, I was really pleased. I, I thought the addition of Jay Laverett has really helped us and gives us another punch uh, that that's really going to help us through ACC play and uh, and then uh, you know just the overall development of being able to be deeper. You know, is it now you look down the bit or look back to the bench and um, be able to see a lot of players that I really think can contribute and help us, uh, which is a huge positive of where we're going as a program. So any questions, anything that you guys need, uh, uh, questions or thoughts that you guys have that I can answer for you? Sure, Lance. Uh, just to start with, you take the good, you take the bad. How much of this is a case of early basketball versus perhaps just maybe as a competitor just wanting to help this team continue to grow? Yeah, no. Uh, you know, so much of it is just early basketball and Again, we've been playing against ourselves for months now, and you know, and just uh, without usually we would have scout guys. Usually we would have a, a a closed scrimmage, and then we would have an exhibition game to lead to our first game. And some of that's usually uh, in the dark, you know, in that uh, now we put a product out there that y'all are like, oh yeah, I can see where they're going, and we have to do all of that in front of the lights. And and so for me, uh, again, during those. After the first little bit of the first quarter, I thought the second and third quarters, uh, you could see glimpses of, of the way we need to play. And then in the fourth quarter, you know, I thought we started fouling and uh, just trying to get, uh, you know, as all that high, high, um, uh, high risk, high reward stuff started creeping in. And then we just fouled. Them. And, you know, and so then that breaks the momentum and it breaks the speed. And, you know, and, and two to their credit, they went to that zone and caused us to get back on our heels a little bit and, with fouls, you can't push the pace. We need to push the pace. And with that dead ball, and now you have a free throw that now we have to run sets and run offense. And, and that's still not our strength right now. I've been able to really execute and know what we're looking for and those types of things and, and uh, get into it. So when you, look like a player, when you look at a player like a Jayla that's able to distinguish yourself so much, but you don't necessarily know what you're going to expect when the lights come on, just how good is it to see what she's able to do vocally and both sides of the court? Uh, yeah, no, and I, I think you guys were able to see glimpses of, of what type of player she is. And, and again, this is a, a kid who hasn't played in a year, you know, and that a full year she, uh, you know, uh, didn't play, you know, from Christmas on and, you know, and that's, it's hard. It's, it's anxious to get out there and now see what you can still do. And, and obviously she's going to do tremendous things for us and already did in this first game, you know, and I thought she gives us a composure and, you know, and she passes the ball well, knows the next thing that should happen. And then on the defensive end, she's our captain is that she's the one who steadies the ship, who tells people where to go. And, uh, and, and she has, she's going to really help us uh, be able um, to compete this year. Lance, your thoughts on your defense, especially yeah. that you had that stretch from mid of the first quarter through much of the second where it was suffocating or multiple. Uh, how much has that improved and how much are you going to rely on that this year? Uh, well, it, it is. It's what we're going to have to be about. And, 
Uh, again, you could tell, you know, there's going to be stretches of time where our offense is going to struggle. And, you know, we still, you know, are going to struggle a little bit more on that end. And our defense has to be able to carry us. And uh, I think you were able to see the multiple defenses, the traps, uh, to being able to play man to zone. To, but, but I think that's been one of our biggest um, uh, improvements is, you know, last year at this time we were still trying to jump to the ball. And, you know, with so many freshmen and, you know, and all of those who had to play huge minutes is they didn't understand switching to uh, here's what's going to happen in a horn set to a, they didn't even know what a horn set was. And, you know, and so this year we are much improved on being able to think the game as well as play it. And, you know, and so now we are able to extend and, and do more stuff. And, and we have a, a, a bigger bench. You know, that last year, too, was we're having to play those kids so many minutes. And, uh, again, I, I haven't even looked. But, yeah, we didn't have one kid who played 30 minutes. And I don't think that ever happened last year for us ever. And, you know, and so I think that has been able to keep those kids. We talk to our team a lot about quality minutes. And, and that's what they're buying into and know that I'd much rather have 20 quality minutes than 30 um, and they're only getting 10 to 15 quality minutes. So, uh, but yeah, I was really pleased with, for a long time, I, I thought our energy was good on defense and then we just got lazy. Lance, I'd be remiss not to ask about your two freshmen that really, really came to play today. Taisha and Liatu, just what did you think of both of them today and what they were able to provide for you guys? <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, it, it's been so uh, fun to watch those kids uh, you know, and last year we, we had to rely on our freshmen so much. And so we never had that opportunity for those kids to compete. And, and our freshmen have come in and had to compete and earn time. And, you know, and those upperclassmen are, you know, and I consider our sophomores on upperclassmen now. And uh, again, they are making it where those kids have had to compete and grow every day. And uh, I think you could see, you know, just um, uh, we talk a lot as our uh, our sophomores, we brought them in to look more like ACC players. And, you know, and they're still uh, growing to be not one-dimensional players uh, where those freshmen that we brought in this year, they can do multiple things. They can pass the ball. They think the play ahead. Uh, they do some of those skills that really help us move our program forward. As much noise as you guys were able to make during the game, you made just as much noise before the game with your shooting shirt and the messages that are on that, the knee during the anthem, the fists in the air, just how much empowerment have you given the players and how nice is it to see them effectively use that platform? Yeah, you know, and whenever you think about everything that our players have been through this year and, you know, and obviously a, a pandemic and then the social uh, injustice um, that they face every day and you know and so to have a quality it was uh, a word that uh, our players chose uh, that they really want as women as a lot of them young black women um, and with all of those things that they want equity they want to be able to um, have a platform that is fighting for nothing other than equality and equity what do they need to have the same opportunities that everyone else has? And, and they wanted to be broad in that um, uh, delivery. And, and again, it's from all the different facets of those populations that are underserved and uh, underrepresented, uh, underrepresented that we have a voice with our team. Um, again, so much of it has been them talking and sharing. And uh, again, from every, um, and again, we have players from all over the world. And, you know, from the things that are happening in Nigeria that affect two to three of our players, that parents who are all of those different things that, and then obviously here in the States of uh, all the unrest and, you know, and just with race relations is affects them every day. And, and so any allyship that I can bring as their coach, we've been able to bring to them and, and be supportive of the message, message and platform that they are able to use to help change minds and thoughts because we are, we, we get to live in this awesome country and we need, we need to see there's certain things that have to change and systematic racism and all of those things affect them every day. And so any voice that we can give as allies, we're going to do, and then they're going to use their platforms to bring awareness and uh, equality that they so desperately desire and want. As a follow to that, Lance, just how educating has this whole process in that respect been for you? Uh, you know, it is. Um, <clears throat> and 
I've been taken back so many times on, <coughs> sorry, uh, I've been taken back so many times on just the courage of our team. And, you know, and again, from a, a small town boy from West Texas, of hearing their stories and what our players face every day is I've had to learn and grow as um, things that I thought aren't truth. And, you know, and so we've been educating as much as we can together of, of hearing those stories. And then now what action can we take to really bring awareness, to dive into our community, to, um, uh, again, those in power have to make choices. And, you know, and uh, I think the election was a was a huge part of that. And our players, some of them seeing them vote for the first time um, is is huge for me, is that the way things change is by being a part of the system and changing the system. And, and so to see them actively involved in that um, uh, is is a huge step. And then now it's what's the next step is as things uh, now keep going and. How do we, as you know, I've always said basketball is a vehicle to life, and, and, and that's what we bring all these people together from our staff to our players, and we really find out that we're a lot more similar than we are different. And, and so for me to watch that and, and see dialogue and embrace those different concepts and thoughts are, are what the game of basketball is all about, and then we get to get out there and play and practice and do things that um, uh, in this awesome arena – uh, that, that's been really cool to watch. As so, as how would you say the overall game protocols went today as far as, you know, what you expected coming in, what the plan was, and how mm -hmm. everything, you know, shaped out in your first actual game of the season? Yeah, you know, uh, it, it's been uh, so funny just to, we you know, you just keep waiting for a phone call, uh, you know, waiting for that phone call to say, all right, sorry, the, the game's canceled, somebody – within our bubble tested. And, you know, and uh, I, again, it's, I think, watching football and, you know, and what they've gone through, our volleyball and all of those teams on campus of, uh, we've said our team has to be resilient because uh, we don't know if tomorrow's going to happen or not. We're just going to keep um, uh, adjusting to it and the most resilient, most flexible team wins. And, and so that's been, um, uh, but I thought overall the protocol was great. Uh, I felt safe. I felt, that our teams, you know, and obviously with George Mason coming in and being tested and there was never, uh, I thought once we got out there and started playing, it was basketball. And, um, you know, obviously where the players are sitting and all that stuff to be able to find them and you lose a kid at times on, because uh, usually they're all just right there with you and how our staff is trying to figure out how to coach the best. And we've still got to work through some of those issues. But, but overall, I, I thought it was a very safe, uh, environment and then um, uh, but I felt great anything else all right well I'm going to toss it off here to two incredible women that are going to get you the next taste so yeah. all right guys Leah too is going to be on first so here she's coming right now how's everybody doing I'm Leah Two King hey Leah Two, how are you I'm good and yourself Good, thanks. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you, too. Thank you. Just for you, first of all, just what was it like out there getting to face someone else, getting that game speed, just having that experience for yourself? Um, I would say it was a relief. Like like uh, Coach Lance was saying, we've been playing each other for months now, so it just felt good to play somebody else. For you personally, just seeing what you were working on and practicing by and large work, just how important is that to make that first impression and see that hard work paying off? Um, it, I mean, it feels good. Um, I finally get to show people, like, who I am and stuff coming on the floor. It, it, it all feels good. You know, as a freshman, no one really knows who I am. So, you know, coming out there, putting out a statement with what I do, that's enough right there. How good also was it for you to see Taisha also step up and have somebody that you're so used to practicing with going through it with you from day one have that experience as well? Um, it, it makes me confident. Um, it shows that she is also confident. It shows that she's confident <laughs> and uh, she knows what she's doing out there. You can tell that she wasn't like nervous or anything. So that was good as well. You know, as freshmen, it's, it's like it said that we're nervous or whatever, but when she's out there, she knows what she's doing. She's playing. She's passing. She's 
getting rebounds. She's she's in there fighting, so that's a good sign. It seemed like communication was pretty good with you guys. Do you feel pretty good about uh, about that aspect of it today? Yeah, um, in the first half, we were good at communicating. Jayla's always on us. Uh, she's always yelling, I got ball, this, that. So, you know, we're communicating. It lets the next person know where to be or who to take. So with that being said, communication was good for the first half. Uh, for the second half, I felt like we died down a little bit. Um, we we started playing to their comp- We started playing to our competition, and as you can see, they started to turn it up a bit. But when we communicate, we're good. What's Jayla mean to this team? Um, I feel like she's a workhorse. She does what she needs to do. She does what the coaches ask uh, of her. If she needs to take the ball on in the corner and she's on the opposite corner, she's gonna do it. She's she's everything for real. She can shoot. She can. She can shoot. She gets the ball. Um, she's going to stop the ball full court. Whatever you need, she's doing it. Do you find it almost, you know, harder to stay locked in defensively when a team is having, you know, such a cold day shooting the basketball, especially from deep? You know, how do you kind of find yourself adjusting off the ball and kind of maybe letting them take shots that you wouldn't normally because you kind of have this feeling that they're probably going to miss it given the way they've been shooting throughout the early part of that game especially? Well, I feel like it's all about personnel. Um, when Before coming into this game, we were talking about our, the shooters. So we weren't going to like go up to people that we know aren't going to make the shots. We're, we're playing off because we're playing help. We know where our shooters are. If there's a shooter, we're going to come up and we're going to defend that. For you personally, just there is a game. There is a message, obviously, with the game. You have it on your shooting shirt with equality. You have it on the back of the jersey. You made the statement during the anthem. Just what does it mean that Coach White gives you that platform, and what does it mean that you are being role models to so many people with the messages that you are delivering? Yeah. Um. So this this word is it's bigger than us, bro. It's bigger than us. Um. We're just we're standing in solidarity with uh, all the victims who were all all the people who are victims of police brutality. We just want a better future. That's all. All right. Is that it? Okay. Thanks, guys. We have Jayla coming up now. Can they see me? Hello. Jayla, for you personally, just what was it like getting your feet wet in a pit uniform for the first time and getting to express that vocality and kind of show what you're able to do on both ends of the court? Um, it was a great feeling for me. I think sitting out a year uh, was really nerves. Like, I was really nervous going out. Can you repeat the question? I'm sorry. Just your experience in the first game, just what it meant to you to be able to help be a leader on this team and get it done on both ends of the court. Um, it was amazing. I feel like coming in, uh, like I said, been out a year, you never know what to expect from yourself. So the fact that my teammates and my coaches put a lot of trust in me to even go out there and just play the game that I love to play and like just let me do my let me play my game, I think it was an amazing feeling. It's been clear that defense was an emphasis leading up to this first game. Just how did you feel the defense went and where do you feel that there's room to grow? I think we did 50-50 on defense. I think we have a lot of room to grow. Uh, I think we could have been way better on defense, but I think you all seen a glimpse of where we are heading. Jayla, you're one of a few that has the, the type of experience that you do on this team. Do you assume a leadership role? What do you try to share with your teammates? Really just knowledge. Um, I know for a fact, like, when I'm playing with Dick, like, I know, like, my team isn't the type of team that takes a lot of things personal. So it's like I can go at them and I can tell them something that I may have learned. And it's like they can also come and tell me something and teach me something. So I feel like it works best that we all are able to teach each other things and not just me looking at it like, oh, I'm older, so I know things. Where it's like they're teaching me things just as well. So I think that that leadership role is an amazing feeling, just knowing that they can come talk to me and knowing that they put their trust in me to get the job done. Kind of on that note, Liadu mentioned that the communication on the court was really good you know, for the first game of a season, how do you see that has, you know, how do you see that kind of developing? I see us honestly being a problem on defense, like a really, a problem with, like, when I say problem, I mean, 
Uh, I think it's self-explanatory a problem. Uh, I think that once everybody figure out the right rotations and everybody is as confident as like me and Gabby are in themselves as we are in ourselves, I think that's when everybody will come together and like we all still working on trusting each other as like make sure like I'm trusting that this person has my help or that person is trusting that I have they help. So I feel like when we learn that we got each other back and actually trust each other, I think that we will be fine. Phil, it's been a crazy year you had to sit out for a long time what did it mean to be able to get back in a game giving all the crazy stuff that's happened here um, uh, I honestly just look at it as a blessing that I'm even allowed to be out to be back out there kind of thing like despite all the things that are happening right now so I'm just really counting my blessings right now honestly Jayla for you just obviously the before the game, you have equality on the shirt. You guys take a knee. There were fists in the air. Just what did it mean to have that platform be able to provide that message? Uh, going back up to what two said, uh, it's bigger than us, and I feel like it's bigger than like basketball. Uh, just knowing that we have like, I don't, I don't really know how to really explain myself when it comes to equality. I feel like it's a lot of it's something that we lack in as a whole. Um, I feel like we all should be treated equal, kind of thing. So it's like. I don't know how to really word what I'm trying to say to you guys. I'm not going to lie to you. I know what it means over here. I promise. <laughs> I, I promise. I got us. Is that it, guys? Awesome. Okay. That's Thank it. You. Thanks, Taylor. Great job. Good work on the team. Good work. Good work. Good work.